नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू Somebody was telling me the word devil. If you reverse it, it is lived. If you have lived your life, then it is heavenly. If you have not lived your life, it is devilish, and it is poisonous. <laughs> Those who don't live their life are caught into the web of devilry. Yes, the word stressed, if you reverse it, it becomes deserts. If you are stressed, it's high time you have a desert. <laughs> So many people say so many things. They come and tell me that we are very stressed. Guru ji, I have to reach my target. Or I'm not getting a decent house to live in. My son is bothering me. My daughter-in-law is bothering me. My dad is bothering me. My grandfather is bothering me. Ultimately, many are stressed. The main reason is things are not falling in its place the way we are expecting. That is why we are stressed. Otherwise, we won't be stressed that much. Suppose a target is given in the office and you are not able to achieve it. That is an expectation. Bosses give always some targets which cannot be achieved. Then you become stressed because that is an expectation out of you, and you are not able to live up to the expectation of the company. The company expects you to perform to that extent, and you are not able to perform. In fact, it is very difficult to fulfill others' expectation. Even our own expectation, we cannot fulfill. Leave alone others' expectation. We become stressed. Then you have to reverse it. Have a desert. Other <laughs> running. That's what I have seen. Everywhere people are running. There is no time for people to sit and chit chat or talk. Or even if they sit and talk, it is more about business, not about anything else. Even after going home, the husband and wife are busy talking about their own offices and other things. At least, if the wife is unemployed, or the husband is unemployed, or if the wife is working in a different type of organization than the husband, then there is some meaning in talking at home because both of them cannot understand each other. Suppose both are from IT field, the problem will be both will be discussing the same subject. They will be talking about the same Python. <laughs> Sometimes ego will go up and then both of them will fight. This is how it should be, that's how it should be. This is not the way, etc. Why bring office to home? We have work from home. Now it is hybrid model. 
some corporates expect their employees to come for three days in a week, four days in a week. Enough of you are sitting at home due to corona. So now our kids are finding it difficult because they are used to two, three years down the line sitting at home and doing things. Now they are very reluctant. So it seems they are given some something like a bonus if you come to office. Anirudh was saying yesterday, as <laughs> he was driving me back. Tough life for kids. Life is more easy for me. I don't have such pressures. Furthermore, I never have work pressure. I have never had work pressure also because I know very well I am not the doer. Luckily for me, I had the fortune of being with the masters who said, life is choiceless, you don't have a choice. You have to just do your job. Don't expect anything in return. So even during the days when I was working as an employee, I never had a stress. Because I always know whatever has to happen will happen. I am supposed to perform well. And I am not performing, Lord is performing, so the things will be all right. Because I was not behind promotion now. All those things, encouragement. Lucky because I landed with the masters very early in the life. I was hammered. I was conditioned. Oh, yes. Today I don't like to condition you. <laughs> but I was conditioned. That way. Good. That conditioning was also good because today I find it very convenient. There is no stress. Absolutely no stress. Lord has been very kind to me. Yesterday, from Dundur, Banu was asking me a question. On one side you say you are not you are not a problem solver. On another side, you do problems. I am confused, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you will be confused. But please remember, I am not the doer. I am not the doer. So when I say Guru, as a guru externally, I say I am not a problem solver. But still as a prayogi, I run for your problems. That's the beauty of it. But still when I run for the problems by doing prayogams, I am not the doer. He is the doer. Not is the doer. When I was younger, and my master had asked me to go to Amazon forest in Brazil. I was quite young, maybe 22, 23, 24. I was working those days. I had just applied for leave. Normally I don't have any leave at all. Most of I will exhaust. Because most of the time I will be spending with the master. So I will have exhausted all the leave. Most of the time loss of pain. But master is the priority, so there is nothing, no problem. So I went to the master, he said, you have to go to Mr. Thoros. Okay, I said, yes, it's nice. He told me there is one particular akshara called Burja. It is plenty in Amazon forest. You just go there and pray to Burja. It will be useful for many people across the world. So I went, somehow managed, I went inside the forest. He asked me to 
visualize purja so i started visualizing it he said there are plenty of purjas absolutely there was no no purja at all my master will not tell a lie why should he tell a lie i knew amazon forest is very huge probably i am searching in a section of forest where it is not there so i started moving deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper it was not there i could not visualize purja at all no tension please remember why master has said the master has said it should be true even if the master is going i am going empty handed and telling the master that i could visualize i could do anything my master will not misunderstand me because i know i am not the doer neither is he the doer but one is the doer so i was going on searching 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 now where just to be found no where absolutely i almost 3 weeks is gone almost 3 weeks is gone then fourth week i am returning back i am about to come back and so i wound up everything took my little baggage what i had one or two clothing and here and there some miscellaneous materials i have to come through the river amazon river there was a boatman then i got into the boat and he was ferrying me it was a mechanized boat not a hand so it was we were able to go at a decently good speed no doubt those days the mechanized boats were not very sophisticated like these days it was it was okay there was a small room on the top also but coming suddenly in the middle the boat stopped the boat stopped and uh, my boatman tried to revive it he couldn't revive it finally he realized that there is no fuel fuel was empty the diesel was empty then he told me the diesel is empty now the moon is going to come up there are going to be strong currents i am going to leave the boat and i will start swimming do you know swimming he yes. asked i said of course i know but the problem here is i am not used to this place how to swim where to swim i don't know he said let us wait for some time let us see whether the currents are coming or probably there may be another boat coming across so we can he had some method of giving a swish so he sent that they used to shoot so some color on top and anybody sees they will come to rescue so he said he tried it two three times and no boat was that nothing was there and uh, the current slowly started there was more current and he said down another 20 miles it will go down about 200 feet there is a falls so before that we may have to jump and we have to swim i said okay he left all his belongings 
I also left all my belongings. My passport was there. But so all my belongings were left and then he jumped into the water and I also jumped into the water. He was a professional swimmer. I am not so professional, so I swam a little bit. But the current was pulling a lot me and I but still somehow we managed to reach the shores. He reached first and uh, I reached after another 10-15 minutes crossing the river. I was very tired and I slept on the bank, just laid down on the bank and I dozed off for about maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. When I got up, there was no trace of the boatman. In that portion of the forest where I landed, as I just got up, I saw the ship. It was just, it was just extending. Across. I could see the Achara everywhere across. It was so beautiful. I cannot define you the experience or the joy what I got up seeing. I started my prayers and it responded very well. It was very happy. Now, I have to start back. Okay, how to start back, where to start back. I didn't know, I walked. And as I walked, the entire stretch was the Aksharas of Nurja. It was really glorious on all sides. Burja has carried some small violet light like it was glowing everywhere. It was very nice. It was dark night. It was it's glowing, glowing, glowing. I came. I reached. the airport. I just asked them, I want to go to Indian Embassy to take a passport, but first I have to fly from there to the capital, Arayo. So for that I needed identification because I have to show the passport. Just then a white gentleman came. He said, they will not allow you without a passport to fly. If you want, I can take you in my helicopter, private company. I can manage you through. Okay. I boarded his helicopter. He dropped me the trail. I did not have any money. All the money I had went off. My cards went off. There was nothing with me. Now I didn't know what to do. At that time, another gentleman came, a white man. Gave me a pocket, a packet. He said, This packet, Father Francis has asked me to hand it over to I don't know anybody by name Francis there in Brazil. Okay, fine. 
because I don't have anything with me. So that was something. Okay, I opened the pocket. To my surprise, I found my passports, all my cards, and about five hundred dollars of cash. I was surprised. Came to the airport. I was sitting. Somebody came and said, "Father Francis wants to meet you. He's sitting in the lounge." I went to the lounge. My father was sitting. Master was sitting. <laughs> I was surprised on seeing him. He said, "You guy, I have to help you to leave this. Otherwise, you cannot fly out of this." And you go to the embassy also. To prove also, you don't have any document. I had to get you all this. You're so careless. He chided me. I know very well. There is no question of any carelessness because there is nothing we can do. We had to leave everything in the boat and then jump into the water. He said, "Yes." I was just keeping quiet. I did not contest my master. Whatever he says, I have to accept. When the master says something. You should not open the mouth. You should not defend yourself. There is nothing like defending against the master. Whatever the master speaks is for your good. Whatever the master does. Is for your good. That is the faith you are supposed to have in the Guru Kulam. So I had that faith. Finally, Master Sri asked, "I'm going on accusing you, but you are not defending yourself." I told the Master, "There is the question of defence. I'm not the doer." Even accepting that I was careless, I am not the true accuser. And whatever you say, there must be a reason behind it. He smiled at me, and he left. This is one of the finest stories which happened in my life. You are not the true. Ultimately, you are not the true. You are not going to. You cannot do anything. If you are able to do something, and if your ego self says that you are the doer, then to you are not the doer. A day will come when your ego self will realize that you have no role to play. It's Lord's will. Absolutely, He is the doer, and He does things. He takes care of everything in life. Anything you do is more illusory. It looks like you have an illusion that you are the doer. You are never the doer. He is the doer. God is the doer. That's the beauty of Bhagwan. Faith. It's the root cause of existence. Don't lose that faith. Have always that faith, and please always remember: you are not the doer. There is no necessity to feel angry. Anger mostly comes because the other person doesn't listen to you, or the other person does against you. The other person is not doing the way 
you want it to be done. The other person also performs. He needs not to do it. Even if you have anger, you are not going to do it. If you can realize that the anger will dissipate. Keep this in mind. Anger, resentment. All these things are not useful in life. What is not useful in life should wither away. What is useful in life should always remain with you. So what is not useful, let it go away. As you watch anger, the anger will drop. You must have the patience to watch anger. You must have the patience to watch your negativity. Somebody gave me a message about WhatsApp yesterday. I listened to the message. He said, But you don't feel otherwise. You don't chide me. Why should I chide you? I know very well you are not to do that. Unfortunately, you do not know you are not to do that. <laughs> you think you are doing. That is why you feel apologetical. If when you know that you are not the doer, all your acts will be sane and divine. You can never do an undivine act. You can never do an act which is insane. Any act you do will be pure. Any act you do will glitter like gold. Because it is the act of the Lord. It is not your act. Whether you can realize that is a question. Whether we really realize that. Yeah, it's Lord's play. Probably the time has not come for you to realize. When the time comes, realization comes. Knowledge is of no use. Realization is what is needed. Wisdom is what is needed. A wise person keeps learning throughout life. A knowledgeable person feels that he has already reached an epitome of knowledge and he stops. For a wise person, there is nothing like contentment. He keeps learning. With every aspect new he learns. With every turn of events, he learns. He grows. That is a man of wisdom. A man of wisdom keeps on learning and he never looks at from whom he has to learn or from whom he should not learn nothing. Even a small child will teach him something. He will learn that also. He will acknowledge it. The beauty is the man of wisdom will always appreciate, will always acknowledge. The other day when the other lady was asking me that her husband is not being acknowledged. Because her husband is surrounded by knowledgeable people. Knowledgeable people will never, will never acknowledge. They will never appreciate. Suppose in the team there was a wise person, he will appreciate. A wise person always appreciates. A wise person always gives comments positively. A wise person always understands the other one. But not a knowledgeable person. A knowledgeable person will never understand. A knowledgeable person will be more selfish. And he will be looking at only himself and his progress. He can never think of other team members. So in this world, we have more knowledgeable people. We don't have 
people who are of his strength. So keep these things in mind. It's always useful. Life is choiceless. Whether you like it, you don't like it. The truth is, life is choiceless and life is very beautiful. It has to be lived. When we don't live life, then it becomes poison. People who don't live life are always depressed. They will pull themselves down, they will pull others also down. In depression, some people will act in different ways. Some people act quixotically. That is because of depression. Borderline personalities. They will act. At one point of time, they will talk something. At another point of time, they will talk something. There will be no consistency in what they talk. That is the problem with such people. Because they have never lived a life. So, they act devilry. A person acts like a devil means he has not lived a life. A person who has not lived a life will never allow others to live their life. Please remember this. Unless you are happy, you cannot make others happy. If you are sad and miserable, you will make everybody miserable. So ultimately, your happiness is very important and one has to search as to what gives them, gives them that happiness. And they have to pursue that and achieve that so that they are useful to the society by making others happy. The very concept of life is to live happy and make others happy. So a person who has not lived a life will be very devilry in act. You cannot find anything sane. So such people create a lot of nuisance. They create a lot of problems, not only for themselves, for everyone around them. Maybe kin and kin, maybe friends, maybe relatives, whoever it is, they create because they have not lived that life. Living life, life is very important. When it comes to life, living life, life is moment to moment. If you keep too much thinking about the past or if you keep too much thinking about the future, you will never live life because present is living. Then in the present to live, there is no thinking. For this moment, for me to converse with you, there is no thinking. It automatically I am talking to you. There is no thinking about it. But if I start thinking about tomorrow, it becomes futuristic. If I start thinking about the past, buried dead past, you don't think of a past which is already over. You have to bury it. What little experience you might have got from the past, you are supposed to learn and you are supposed to assimilate it and it comes as a part of the system. In fact, the master takes care of the past and the future. Your duty is to live the present, live this moment, not think about the future or not keeping on grumbling about the past. Of course, there will be some problems in the past. There might have been some problems. But every problem would have given you some experience. Every problem would have given you some knowledge. Every problem would have taught you something in life. So the problem is not just a problem. The problem comes probably to elevate your level to better levels of existence. So challenges in life comes to elevate you to better levels of existence, to make you more conscious. That's why challenges come. There will be always challenges. Every time I go to the forest, I have a new challenge. I have a new problem. So, I, I, it is not that I have already learned everything. I learn every day. Every point of time, every day I learn. Every point of time. Every moment gives me a learning. Bhagavan has been so kind enough to give me that kind of a learning. So like that, Learn to live with everything. There may be good, there may be bad, right, wrong, everything. You have not come here to correct the society, but you have come here to correct yourself. If you stand correct, if you stand correct, and if you are able to organize yourself, that is 
a very big service you will be doing to the society. You have to organize yourself. That is more important. Have you understood? So, you are getting organized is more important. Of course, it's a tough job. But with every experience, you try to rearrange yourself and organize yourself to be a better person. That's the very concept of that. We are all, as you grow, because you are a man of, if you are, you will be a man of wisdom. Because you are growing, as you are growing, you are learning. You are not dismissing anything as though you have learned. You are not dismissing. You are looking at everything, because in every act that is performed around you, the nature gives you a message. Whether you have understood that message or not is the point. As you understand the message, you start growing. You become a better person. When you become a better person, the aura around you will be pure saffron. And any maladies will become melodies. Anybody coming near you will be blessed. You are supposed to spread that positive vibe and aura in every place. Somebody was telling me, Yesterday, Guruji, when you said before everyone that Mandakini and Ram Babu's marriage is going to take place in Narsimhavadi and that will be the first marriage, I felt very jealous about it. I don't know why. I can understand that. There is a problem with you. But please remember, every problem cannot be chided and removed. You cannot chide a problem. Because he is unconscious, it's a problem. Because he feels that such an opportunity he did not get in this case. Maybe, maybe. He is already married, he has a child. Now you are thinking about because that's what he has come only now. You can think of something else. You see, in the future, you probably your, your daughter will get married at that place. Probably God will give you a child. <laughs> So, jealousy is more because we are, we don't we are not getting it. Somebody is getting it. So jealousy comes like that. Have you understood? So that jealousy it cannot be chided. You cannot chide a person. I cannot chide him and say that no, this jealousy is not good. No, I can't say that. He is unconscious. If he is conscious, such a jealousy will not be there in the first place. When, similarly, in one case it so happened that the brother got married. When the brother got married, the sister was throwing tantrums because she was not married then. Suddenly he started. It's jealous. It's pure jealousy. She was unconscious. Once she becomes conscious, she will laugh at her own act. You will be laughing at your own act. Acts of jealousy, greed, anger, resentment, all these things is because it emanates from the unconscious. If you are conscious, all these things will disappear. And you will come to know that whatever you did was very foolish and highly idiotic. So keep these things in mind. Live life. Don't isolate yourself. Understand what is happening. Looking through the eyes is not important. There is something more here. You have to look through it. There is something here. Look through it. So that you will know the real essence of life. Moment to moment when you live, how beautiful it is. You will come to it. As a guru, I am supposed to guide you. As a master, I am supposed to lead you. I am leading you. Why are you worried? You need not be worried. I am there to catch your, catch hold of your hand and walk through the path. You are feeling jealous or you are feeling greedy or you are feeling anger is because you don't remember that I am catching your hand. If you always keep in mind that my master is catching my hand, you will never feel jealous. You will never feel greed. You will never feel an aspect of greed. You will never feel resentment. You will never feel anger. Because you are forgetting the most important factor, 
the master is with me the master is holding my hand prasanna mama dehi karavala prabhu then the master himself is holding my hand where is the necessity for me to feel all that so you are not conscious of the fact that the master is with you the master is holding your hand see is somebody was dreaming in the dream it so happened uh, some scenes were coming the scenes were when good scenes were there he found two steps he steps and two steps by the side the lord steps were there when bad occasions were happening only he found his two steps and lord steps are missing so he asked the lord hey bhagwan when you are supposed to be there with me when i am in distress you are supposed to be there with me when i have problems you are supposed to be there with me when i am very happy you are there when i am unhappy when i have problems you are not to be seen then lord smiled and said those two steps what you saw are not yours it's mine i was carrying you during that time <laughs> you understand lord was carrying you he said i was carrying you in distress the master carries you you are unconscious you feel that you are alone and you get depressed the question of depression will not come if you are conscious to know that during the troublesome days also the master is there and he carries you so keep all these things in mind keep the faith the faith must be mahavishwas not normal vishwas mahavishwas the way probably shukrada had on her father or the way sahadeva had on lord krishna like that you should have that mahavishwas that vishwas up to that extent my master is there to guide me and he will take care of me at all points of time you must be conscious of the fact that the master is holding your hand the problem with you is you are not conscious of the fact that the master is holding your hand <laughs> i am always holding your hand don't worry about anything god bless you all see you some other time thank you very much